What's up, Churchill? New year, new show. And I had to rewrite the whole script because Jack wanted to be unique. I'm Rhea Melton. And I'm Jack Bannis. And this is WCTV. WCTV. This week, we got a pretty spicy episode coming at you. First on the lineup, Pearl is giving us an inside look of the life of two rising stars. Hey guys, so today we have AJ Colgan and Catherine Imanez, and they're two varsity choir members here at Churchill. So what made you guys start singing in the first place? Um, Catherine and I became friends. I went over to her house, and she like forced me to sing for her. It took me like two hours, but then I did it, and she's been motivating me to perform. All right. Um, what's the most unusual spot that you guys have performed at? Um, a few weeks ago we performed downtown on Houston Street and last weekend we also performed at Bob's Burgers and we performed a few sets and it was really fun. Um, what is your favorite song that you guys like to belt out to in the car? Um, definitely As Long As You Love Me by Justin Bieber. We go very hard on the rap. It is quite a show. Give me a time, a place, I rendezvous, I fly you to it, I'll beat you there. Girl, you know I got you, us, trust. A couple days I can't spell without you, knowing you're on top of the world. Cause that's just how we do. Used to tell me sky's the limit, now the sky's a point of view. Then we stepping out like, well, oh God, camera's pointing at you. Ask me what's my best son. I sit back and point at you, you, you. The one that I argue with, like I need a new girl to be bothered with. But the grass ain't always good on the other side. It's giving me water so I know. We got issues, baby, true, true, true. true. But I'd rather work on this with you than to go ahead and start with someone new. As long as you love me. With his gun and his head held high, he told me not to cry. Oh, my daddy said shoot. Oh, my daddy said shoot. With his right hand on his rifle, he swore it on the Bible. Oh, my daddy said shoot. Oh, my daddy said shoot. Okay, thank you. Uh, bye. <laughs> Wow, guys, what a great performance. Speaking of performances, Sarah's got a great interview with our fine arts department. Let's go take a look at that. Hey, Churchill, I'm Sarah Brunel, and I'm with Juliet Wyatt and Gabby Ritchie here from our theater department. So what is the best part about being in theater at Churchill? Uh, the best part of our Churchill theater department is all the bonding that we get between all the classmates in our varsity theater class. We all get to hang out a lot, and we get along really well. What inspires you to be a great actress? Uh, definitely the other people in theater inspire me. They're all great actors and actresses, and so every time you see them perform, I definitely draw inspiration from all of them. So when is the next show? Uh, what can we see? Yeah. Uh, yes, so our first full show that we've got coming up at the end of October is called Anton and Show Business, and that will be our black box show. And then we have Death of the Salesman, which is going to be performed in the Man Planning Naval <laughs> Theater. And that'll be at the beginning of November. Mm -hmm. And where can we get tickets? How can we get tickets? Yes, so tickets can be bought at the door before the show, or you can get tickets online at brownpapertickets.com. Okay, Churchill, so make sure and come out and see both shows and support the theater department. Wow, thanks for that interview, Sarah. Make sure you check out a couple of the shows this year from our fine arts department. Hey, Jack, you want to become a national star? I'd love to be a national star. Well, become a twirler. Alyssa's got an interview with Churchill's own nationally ranked twirler, Stephanie. What's up, Churchill? I'm here with Stephanie McBurnett, our Churchill feature twirler. And what's the biggest title you've earned? Well, this summer I went up to Notre Dame for um, our national competition. I placed top uh, six in the nation, and that has been the biggest accomplishment. I noticed that you performed with the Clark Twirler. How long have you been twirling with the Clark Twirler? We are on the same twirling team, the Texas Gems, and this year we decided that we wanted to do a duet because we were uh, becoming really good friends. We started practicing a lot, and this year at Nationals we became the um, National Duet Champions. What is your hardest trick or your favorite trick? To Well, um, the hardest trick that I can do now is a double illusion, which is where you toss the baton up and then do two illusions which are like upside down leg kicks basically under it and I actually caught that at the football game a couple weeks ago and that was my favorite trick so far. 
Do you have any advice for future twirlers? I would say that it does take a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication and just don't get discouraged if you can't catch a trick because over time you will be able to. And make sure you catch her at all the pep rallies and football games and I hope you have a great uh, competition season. Wow, she sure is impressive. Way to go, Stephanie. Hey Jack, have you seen the movie It? Nah. Well, if you haven't yet, here's a movie review with Tyler. When you're a kid, you think the universe revolves around you. They think that you'll always be protected and cared for. It was fine. The kids were pretty good with a few standouts and one. Let's move on. The movie is well shot and edited. I don't remember any of the score, which means it was probably fine. The little scars guard is really good as Pennywise. The movie's biggest problem, though, is the scares are pretty forgettable. It's mostly a lot of Pennywise either staring at somebody or just doing this. It's, it's a lot of that. Just to be more familiar with it, I decided to reread the novel. And it's very messy and, uh, but the premise allows you to be really creative with your scares. You don't need to see this movie. Just go watch Stranger Things again. But if you really think that clown was spooky, go watch it. Enjoy your popcorn. Like I said, it's fine. Thanks, Tyler, for that bomb movie review. Next up, plan your weekend around the weather. And we have Sarah with the weather. Hi Churchill, I'm Sarah Brunel and today marks the first day of fall. Get ready to bring out your sweaters, pumpkin spice lattes, and boots. This weekend's weather is great for a football game, so make sure you come out and support your Charger football team. Tomorrow we expect a high of 91 and low of 71, and Sunday we do expect some rain. Have a great first weekend of fall, Churchill. As many of you Churchill students may know, Mr. Kellogg was recently featured on Wheel of Fortune. We have a teacher feature with them right now. What's up, Churchill? I'm Alex. And I'm Colton. And you're watching Teacher Feature. Hey, what's up, Churchill? We're here interviewing Mr. Kellogg about his premiere on Wheel of Fortune. So, Mr. Kellogg, what inspired you to be on Wheel of Fortune? Uh, the, the truth is, um, for a lot of people, from people I've talked to, they're like, Wheel of Fortune's a lifelong dream of mine. And um, for me, it wasn't. It was a, I, I kind of got roped in by my wife as part of the Wheel Watchers Club, and we watched Wheel of Fortune, and, and she thought, We'll send in a video, and then maybe we can get on as a couple. And so uh, we sent in a video, and uh, a couple days after we sent in the video, um, they uh, emailed and said, we'd like you to audition in Austin. And so we drove up to Austin and auditioned. Um, and the long story short is, after the audition process, uh, I got chosen to be on the show, and she did not yet. We all know that Wheel of Fortune is kind of a big deal, and I'm sure all the viewers would like to know, how did you prepare for it? Uh, play a lot. I use the app. Um, when, once you become a contestant, they send you a little packet with the categories and tips for the categories. Um, so that helps as well. And then when you get there, there's luck that comes as a result of, of how it works out. I, I, I don't think it's a secret. I think most of your, teacher, most of your teachers out there would, would say the same thing. Life's about taking some risks. Um, there's a risk going on Wheel of Fortune that you could look like a fool the rest of your life, right? You, you could always be the person who um, who calls the, the, the wrong letter when everybody else knows the puzzle. And so there's some risk involved. Um, but that's, that's the point, right? To get life experiences, to have something that, th this is a, a, an experience that somewhere down the line is gonna help me relate to other students. Um, and so you take a shot. When you get an opportunity to do something that's fun and unique, um, whether it's traveling out of the country or whether it's taking a course that you, you didn't feel like maybe you were as prepared for as you should have been and, and really taking, taking a risk in that regard or um, taking a risk in applying to a college that you, um, you think, I might not get in. All those, all those are, are risks that you never know. They, they may come out and turn out and be rewarding um, like this experience was for me. Um, I'm a realist, and, and applying for this show, I never would have thought um, they would have picked um, me even as pretty as I am. And so um, it's about taking risks. And I took a risk, and um, the reward was, was, uh, was not only the financial, but uh, just a tremendous experience and tremendous opportunity that I get to share with, um, with people forever. So it's a fun deal.
Thank you, Mr. Kellogg. All right, Churcha, that's all the time we have right now. I am Colton, and this is Alex, and this has been Teacher Feature. Dub C Volleyball. Thanks, Mr. Kellogg. You really made Churchill proud. Next up, we got some saucy sports highlights. Welcome to Sports Desk. I'm Zach DeWitt. I'm Will Rodriguez, and our fall sports is off to a great start. Our football and volleyball teams are getting some great wins. Volleyball is 19 and 12 and 2 and 2 in district play. They play Roosevelt tonight at 7 p.m. in the Littleton Gym. We are in week four of football and play Warren tonight at their stadium at 7.30. Here's some highlights from the first three games. <laughs>
Tennis, golf, and cross country are all in their events too today. Good luck to all the Chargers sports team this weekend, and go support your favorite sport. Go Dub C. Those were some great sports highlights. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We'd like to dedicate this episode to our fallen Charger, Michael Villarreal. He will always be remembered, and he will always leave a great legacy on this school. Make sure when you're walking through the hallways, you're always thinking of Michael. He's a great kid. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in two weeks. Hey, Churchill, did you know suicide is the 10th leading causes of death in America? It can cause depression, severe anxiety to the loved ones of the victim. If you or if anybody is suffering from suicidal thoughts or depression, talk to a teacher, a counselor, or an adult. Or otherwise, call this number, 1-800-273-TALK. Once again, the number is 1-800-273-TALK.